what's going on YouTube, Chuck D here again. Man, today was one of them days. Today, today was rough. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Today was a rough ass day. So just a recap, I started my day and um, somewhere in Ohio. So I start my clock this morning and I start rolling. Within maybe 20 miles, I hear on the CB radio, 80 eastbound, there's a wreck up ahead. Now, usually I would have looked ahead, you know, to see if there's an alternative, but because of where I was in Ohio, there was like no U.S. highway or anything that was running parallel. So I got delayed in that for about 45 minutes. So that accident finally clears up. I start rolling again. I want to say maybe hour, hour and a half, another accident. Get delayed again. So I start looking because at this point, this second accident, you know, we weren't moving at all. So I got on Trucker's Path, you know, started looking for our fuel because now, you know, I'm paying for my fuel. I'm looking at my opti stop and it wants me to fill up in PA and I'm like oh fuck no I'm not because PA fuel is high as hell the fuel there is like three dollars and some change and I wasn't about to pay that so I got on truckers fan I found a price a place that I wanted to go to and then I called um you know dispatch just to confirm you know the best price Lady gonna tell me, yeah, that one on your opti side is the best price. I just said, okay. She was full of shit because I found one spot for 285 in Ohio. So if you guys ever get fuel, if you're Alliance, don't ever fuel up in PA. Get it in Ohio. Cause it's always cheaper in Ohio. Cause once you hit PA, they gon' just don't fill up in PA. So I start rolling. You know, after I got my fuel, I hit PA. Now, PA, PA is one of those states that I hate driving to or through. If you come to Stevens, uh, please know that you're going to run through PA. Going on 80 east and westbound. To get through PA, it's exactly 311 miles. 311 miles of straight hills. If you've ever been on a roller coaster, you know how the ride, it'll go up and down, up and down. That's basically how 80 is going through Pennsylvania. You're gonna be going up and down, up and down these steep ass hills. Now, my weight, I'm nearly, I'm like a few hundred pounds from 80,000. So, it was a bitch going up them damn hills. And then not to mention, within maybe 30 miles of getting into Pennsylvania, another accident. So now this is the third wreck today. I'm thinking to myself, damn. Because when I started my trip today, you know, I made the decision that I'm going to do a repower. Well, I'm going to have to do a repower because my load is due on Tuesday, right? And when I started my clock, I was only maybe just a little under 600 miles. So my intentions were, my plan was, I'm going to run from Ohio and get all the way to Vince Lombardi and shut down at. Now, I kept getting delayed and delayed, so I'm thinking to myself, damn, I'm not going to be able to make it to my safe haven, which is Vince Lombardi, which means I would have to stop probably in Jersey somewhere or in Pennsylvania, take a 10 there, and then start my clock just to get to Vince Lombardi. So, I just knew in my mind, I said, I'm not, there's no way I'm going to make it. I'm not going to make it. But then, you know, I believe in God. So after that third wreck, it was smooth sailing from there. 
You know, I did struggle up them hills. I'm not going to lie. I was doing about 45, 50 going up them hills. But going downhill, I was moving. I ain't even going to lie. I was moving. Because I told myself I have to get to Vince Lombardi. I got to get to Vince Lombardi. So I make it to Vince Lombardi, which I'm at now. I'll show you. This place here is packed as hell. You got hella trucks. So you got Stevens right there. Another Stevens. So, you know, I circled around the lot. I couldn't find a spot. So I kind of had to make a spot where I'm parked at now. This is not necessarily a row. So I kind of had to just make a row. Because, you know, sometimes desperate times, desperate measures. But, yeah, so I made it here with 45 to spare. That's how much I ran today. So it worked out. And let me tell you something about Jersey, all right? I get into Jersey. These drivers in Jersey, they disrespectful as fuck. That's the only word I have for them. Disrespectful as fuck. I get into Jersey. These motherfuckers just cutting me off left and right, left and right. Cars jumping from the fast lane. Because once you get into Jersey on 80, I believe it's like a five or six lane highway, if I'm not mistaken. So I got cars jumping all the way from the left lane and then jumping all the way to the right lane to make that exit. I'm like, man, this can't be life today. This just can't be life. So I was already tight about that. So I just had to tell myself, like, let me just make it to my Opti stop. Let me just make it. I was about to snap. <laughs> Cause my nerves at this point were just shot because... All the way from Jersey to my Opti, I just kept getting cut off, cut off by cars. Cars not letting me over, you know. Which brings me to my point is, guys, just when you get into this industry, you're going to have those days. Everything is not going to always be smooth sailing out here. You're going to have rough days where you just want to say, fuck this, fuck everything. But you just got to stay patient, which is what I did. You know, I just stayed patient, you know, listen to my music. And here I am. So the plan for tomorrow is I should be getting a repower. One of the locals is going to come get my load. And I should get a pre-plan tomorrow, hopefully. But I'm kind of running low on my 70, so I may take a 34. I haven't decided yet. And by the way, guys, if you ever have to go to New York City, you don't have to necessarily take it there. You can go to Vince Lombardi, which is where I'm at now. And basically, this place is, is a travel plaza, like right before you get into the city. So you can um, go here and they have local guys that go back and forth into the city with loads. So just send a repower request if you don't feel you know comfortable going into the city. But yeah, guys, like I always say, like, comment, subscribe. By the way, thank you to all my new subscribers out there. We slowly growing, y'all. But yeah, I'm about to get me something to eat. Y'all take it easy out there. Stay safe.